That's my favorite time of the day again. I want to thank Mr. Lemester for the points that he sent. This hair, my little cabinet's getting crazy wild with all kinds of stuff from we go from with John from out in Utah to to the old Stumpy Humper, to Mr. Lemester, to the Alabama Headhunter. Man, these guys all got some awesome, awesome arrowheads. And unbelievably kind to send me these. And we can come all the way down to Texas with Lawson there. Look at these. Of course, it's bad lighting here at 5.30 in the morning and I'm trying to be quiet. But yeah, that cabinet's looking awesome. There's some of the Flint Obsession Boys stuff right up there on the top. Along with, that would have been cool. All right, we're going to go down there to the building to the Sunday morning tool sale. Hey, what do you want to give me now? Give me now. Give me now. Give me now. Hey, this is Richard at the Cucumber. I'm on the Cucumber one side of the hill there. Here, right there's a post. Been attacked by a machine, I see. Must have been sometime after I left yesterday. But we knew that was coming, so it's not like it was a shock. But look at here, just, I don't know, I don't know, just a big old scraper. But right there in that black dirt, I picked this up here just to... Just a couple minutes ago, Gary and I were sitting here talking. And look down, there's a very little ear sticking out of the dirt. So it was a pretty good start to the day without even digging. And I found another little half, two halves, just walking around. But anyway, kind of raining a little bit. I'm gonna dig right beside this log where I dug about eight months ago before and hopefully I get some of this dug before he comes back tomorrow or today or whenever, who knows. I'll get back with you. Moving off to the side of the Sedalia house. I just flipped that one right there out. That's a big one. Hmm, huh. that might be like a big old... Oh, is that the base on the other end I'm looking at? No. No, I, oh. no, I think it's a... It's a, yeah, it might be a knife. I think that's what it. I know there's the broke. Right there. Here's the base. Might be impact fracture. I think that's what mm. it is, maybe. Well, he's a lot of arrowhead, no matter what he is. Well, what's left is real nice. I think that's the impact fracture. Right next to this tree. Right next to this stupid old tree. Hmm. <laughs> Well, it's going to be some pretty material though when you wash that dirt off. Yeah, that's nice stuff. Mm. That's that cream color. Too bad didn't have the... <clears throat> so had that needle tip on him, he'd have been something else. That's my favorite material too, that cream color stuff. That is neat stuff. I love that stuff. But that's the impact fracture. I bet it is too. What it looks like to me. Alright. Check this out. Found this tip, and I found this arrowhead, this bottom. And there they are. Another full point. I'll be darned, got a new mirror up there. If it works. Ah. Alright. Anyway. Back from the cucumber, it was so doggone hot humid. This is the one I picked up off the ground where the dozer or his tractor or whatever has been there. It was a really nice one. A big old sedalia. Tip's been broke. I don't know whether he kept on using it. Probably used it as a knife afterwards. Who knows. And then this one here I found in the two pieces in the ash pit. Right there is where he's broken too, obviously. I'll clean that up later. 
but all right that was the day